Okay, hi everybody. Today we're going to be going through um, the idea of tangents and I just wanted to go through a brief problem um, involving obviously tangents. Now, the first concept about tangents that you have to understand just really quickly is basically whenever you have a curve, meaning the thing that's not a tangent, okay? A curve, let's just say you have a parabola that goes something like this. Now, Let's say that you are really interested or, um, when you select a given point, say you select this point here and it's some kind of x value, say you're really interested um, in drawing a tangent right there. Now a tangent is a line that is just essentially a line and what it, the definition of a tangent is, is it's a line that goes through one point only on that particular curve. So something that would just skim by and just touch this particular point. So if I had a ruler, which I don't, um, I can show you this much better, but as you can see, the tangent for this particular point would be like, sort of like that, where there is a point of intersection only at one specific spot. And so what, why this is useful is because if you're standing here at that given point, it doesn't matter whether you're standing on your curve or whether you're standing on the tangent, it's going to be the same slope in both cases. So what you know by definition is that the, the slope or the gradient of that particular spot will be the same on your tangent as your curve. And so if I find dy over dx of my curve, okay, of this black line, I can equate it to the gradient of my tangent because I know they are the same thing. Okay, so we're going to use that knowledge today in this particular question. So I just wanted to make sure that you understood that, so that you actually know why you're differentiating the curve. Because a lot of people start differentiating and they don't have any clue why they do it. They just do it because that's what the teacher told them. So um, now hopefully you can understand a little bit more. Okay, now let's have a look at this particular question. It says for the graph of this, uh, the, uh, I've given you a certain graph and I want you to find the tangent which passes through the value of x equal to u. Now the moment you see an unknown it's going to be a little bit more complicated okay but the moment you see that you only have given you only have an x value you immediately should start looking for a y value even though you don't have a number there that doesn't stop you from being able to find a y term a y value in terms of u. So, if x is equal to u, what we can do is we know that y, as long as we substitute u into there, this is our coordinate for y. It's dependent on the number of u. So, I'm just going to write this up as a coordinate somewhere, somewhere for a later reference. So, u squared plus 2u minus 5. And that's my coordinate. So that's basically where the tangent passes through. Okay? Now, we need to basically work out, first of all, we need to work out the gradient. So that was our first step. That's always step number one, to find your coordinate of your tangent passing through. The second step is to make sure that we derive this. So we're going to go dy over dx is equal to, bring the power down, so 2x plus 2, and the constant goes away. So this is our expression for our gradient. Okay, so once we have that, we know, what, um, by what I just told you, is that the gradient of the curve, which is this, is exactly the same as the gradient of your tangent. So all we need to do, we know where this particular tangent passes through. We know it passes through this particular point. So all we need to do is just substitute our x value into this x so that we can find the gradient at the value of u. Okay, so let's do that now. dy over dx is equal to 2u plus 2. Don't worry that it's not a number. u represents a number, it's just constant. It looks freaky, I agree, but Sometimes in methods, that's the kind of problems that you get. So, the gradient, what we know now, 
is that the gradient of your particular um, line is actually 2u plus 2. Okay, so that's a gradient. Now, the way I work out the next one, the third step, a lot of teachers just do y, take away y1 equals to gradient x, take away x1. I, I just use y equals mx plus c. It's the same thing. Less to remember. mx plus c. Okay, uh, we can now substitute our x value into there. We can substitute our gradient into our tangent equation, and we can substitute our, u, our y value into the y expression. So let's start solving these. Let's start getting an expression for our graph. Okay, now just going to rub this out because I run out of room. Okay, now let's, let's just plug everything in. So we know that y is u squared plus 2u minus 5, and it's equal to the gradient, which is this, times your x value, which is u, and then we don't know what our plus c is. So before we do anything, we need to find an expression for c, and then we're going to express it as a straight line. Okay, so just expand all of that out and rearrange, beautify it. So we're going to have 2u squared plus 2u plus c. Okay, now I can see that I have this on one side and I have this on the other, and since they are identical, they can cancel away. Okay, and I'm getting closer and closer to getting an answer for c. So if I just move this thing on the other side, then I'll get an expression for c. So what you'll find is that c is equal to um, u squared take away 2u squared, so it's going to be minus u squared, minus 5. So when you just simplify everything, you should get this answer. Okay, so all we have to do now is we're just going to have to ex put this all into our straight line equation. So the gradient, the y equation for your tangent is just a straight line, so m, which is going to be 2u plus 2, x, which is unknown, we have to make an equation, so there has to be a y and an x, and then your c value is known from there. Just going to run that out. So it's going to be minus u squared minus 5, and that is basically the equation of your tangent. So I hope that made sense and in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at working out the equation for your normal. So thank you for watching. I invite you to visit the website. I've put a lot more products on there and a lot more information, um, a lot more tips as well. So feel free to check out the website and have a fantastic day. I'll see you later.